Hey folks, in this video, I will show you how to transfer your WSL from the drive C to uh, another drive. So as you can see, uh, my WSL uh, installed in uh, C drive. So now I'm going to transfer it to my drive D. So let's see how we can do that. So first of all, uh, you need to uh, export it to another drive where you want to install the uh, WSL distribution. So I'm going to export it to uh, this uh, WSL distro folder. So for that, you have to uh, run this command in the Windows PowerShell. So open the Windows PowerShell and uh, uh, type uh, this command. So in here, distro name is the WSL version you running in your PC. So if you want to check it out, uh, just uh, run command WSL list. You can see now uh, it, it's uh, list down the WSL versions you installed. So I am going to use this version. So first I'm going to copy this uh, command. and paste it here so in my case uh, my the folder i want to install the wsl is located in dwsl distro so i copy that let me create another new folder so i'm going to export my wsl distro to this uh, folder so I'm going to copy the path and uh, add it here. So it uh, it will uh, export it to the this folder. And if I press enter, it will uh, begin to export the WSL distribution. You can see now it's completed. So you can see it uh, exported to this drive. So next what you have to do is uh, import that uh, exported distro to the folder where you in want to install the WSL distro. So in this case, uh, you have to run the, this command. Uh, so WSL import a distro name and a folder to install and where you export the uh, w, previous WSL distro. So I'm going to copy this command. And uh, you, you need to add the folder paths here correctly. So first I will create another new folder for uh, install the WSL in this uh, local disk D. I create a folder called uh, install and uh, I'm going to copy the path. And paste. So here I added the path I want to install the WSL distro and here you need to add uh, where uh, did you export the WSL previously. So I'm going to copy this folder path here. And add it to this uh, command. So you can see uh, I have I had it previously install exported folder path here. So and press enter. There is a uh, what is it? File not found. Oh, I know what's there. The file name I added is not correct. Let me copy this. Uh, okay, so now if I run this, if you see uh, error like this, uh, a distribution with the supply name already exists use minus minus name to choose a different name 
that means like uh, your previous installed WSL distro name is the same as uh, what you are uh, currently trying to install. So for that, you have two solutions. One is uh, unregister previous WSL distro, or you can uh, choose a different name. So in this case, in this case, I'm going to unregister previous WSL distro because I no longer need it. Uh, if you want, you can choose different name uh, to install in for this uh, as this distro name. But uh, let's see how you can uh, unregister previous one. So for that, uh, I'm going to copy this command. I'm going to uninstall this uh, previous version. Okay, now it unregistered. Operation completed successfully. So if I run the uh, previous command again with the previous distro name, it should work. You can see it installing. All right, so operation completed successfully. So now you have to do is uh, run this uh, imported WSL distro so that you have to what you have to do is uh, run this command so i copy this command uh, so here as a distro name you have to input the uh, distro name that you added previously when you are importing the WSL which means uh, this name so i am going to run this command So as you can see now command completed successfully and WSL is running without any issue in the D drive. So if you find this video is helpful, feel free to subscribe and like the video. And if you have any questions, comment below. I will try to help you. So see you in the next video.